Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Today we're saying a vote of mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Today is, as you know, the first Saturday of the month. It is truly a, a day that we look forward to it each month because it is a day given to Our Lady, but it is also the day that Our Lady made so important at Fatima in her message when she asked for the five first Saturdays. I often think about the third secret of Fatima. Uh, I don't think the third secret of Fatima is so important, to tell you the truth, because that concerns this world. I think that the first Saturdays is the secret of Fatima. I'm saying this humorously because nobody knows it. First of all, a lot of people don't even know about Fatima. Some Catholics do, of course, but many don't. But many don't even know about the five, five first Saturdays. So in a way, that's one of the secrets of Fatima. It shouldn't be. Why? Because nobody tells them. Nobody tells people what the five first Saturdays are. Whenever you ask people, so I know what the nine first Fridays are, but what are the five first Saturdays? The five first Saturdays, in a way, are very essential to the Fatima message, in my opinion, because it concerns each one of us and our eternal salvation. Our Lady came to Fatima, as you know, and she says, men must stop offending God. He's too much offended by sin. And she showed the children hell, and she saw that, she showed them that, told them that you have seen hell where the souls of poor sinners go. If men do what I say, many souls will be saved. If men do what I say, what, was, what do men have to do? First of all, they have to pray the rosary. She always asked for the rosary to be prayed. That's so important because the rosary gives us the life of Jesus and Mary and shows us in their lives what we must do, what virtues we must have practiced, what mysteries we must know, what teachings we must know. In a way, the rosary is a catechism of the Catholic faith. So that's important. The next thing important is the, with the, the five first Saturdays, as Our Lady says, is men must stop offending God. He's too much offended by sin. And as an antidote for sin, Our Lady said on the first five Saturdays that we should go to confession eight days before or eight days after the first Saturday. This would wipe away our sins to get rid of mortal sin. As we told you yesterday, the reason why the foolish virgins did not have oil in their lamp is because they did not have sanctifying grace. Now, if you analyze that a little bit, they are the foolish virgins are very much like people today. They're good people. After all, they are virgins. So they're good and they're waiting for the master, but they're not good enough. They're careless. They have not brought oil into their lamps. In the same way with people today, they're careless. Many Catholics don't go to confession frequently as they should. Some months, some years. You ask some people, when's the last time you went to confession? Oh, it's been a long, long time. I said, how long? A few months? A few years? Oh, many, many years. And that's very foolish and careless. Padre Pio used to tell that his, his spiritual children to go to confession once a week. Once a week. And if they didn't go, he would say, careless child. Careless child. Our Lady asks for once a month, to go to confession once a month, eight days before or eight days after the first Saturday, to restore the soul to sanctifying grace and also to increase grace, also to 
help us to overcome sin. One of the best ways to overcome any habitual sin is frequent confession. Frequent, weekly. Certainly, every, eight, every month, as Our Lady asks, that's especially to overcome conf uh, uh, sin, that's not really enough. Anybody who has an habitual sin should go to confession every week at least. And in order to gain the indulgences for, that we can gain each day, we should go to confession every two weeks. That will cover eight days before, eight days after the indulgence, so that you can get the indulgence for the day. For example, if you pray the rosary before the Blessed Sacrament, you have to receive Holy Communion that day and go to confession eight days before, eight days after. So Our Lady knows what's important. The third requirement for the first Saturdays is to say the rosary. Five decades of the rosary on the first Saturday. The fourth requirement is to meditate, keep Our Lady company by meditating, thinking about the mysteries of the rosary. Keep her company. Meditation is not that hard. Just think about the rosary and think about Our Lady and put yourself in the picture and imagine you're talking to our Blessed Mother about the mystery of the rosary, like today. Today we have the Annunciation in the Gospel. Mary, how was it when the angel came to you? Were you nervous? Did it disturb you? How did you feel? And just talk to Our Lady. That's the best way to meditate. St. Teresa says meditation is familiar conversation. Familiar conversation with the God we love, with Our Lady, the people we love. Familiar conversation. And Our Lady promises for these five first Saturdays, again, Receive Holy Communion. I didn't mention that, or I'll mention it now. Receive Holy Communion at Mass on the first Saturday. Say five decades of the Rosary. Meditate on the Rosary for 15 minutes and go to confession eight days before or eight days after. Just a word, a quick word on Holy Communion as we see in the Gospels for this last few Sundays, we've been reading the sixth chapter of John, how Jesus says, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you shall not have life in you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has life everlasting, and I will raise him up on the last day. Our Lady knows in this catechesis for the first Saturdays how important Holy Communion is to be fed with the body and blood of Christ. It is a sign of our eternal happiness. So, and this is what Our Lady promises. For those who do the first Saturdays, the five first Saturdays, they will receive at the end of their life all the graces necessary for their eternal salvation. So on their deathbed, when the devil comes raging with all his fellow devils trying to, the last chance he has to get a soul, Our Lady will be there to crush his head and to give the soul all the graces it needs to save itself. This is such a wonderful privilege. I remember hearing about it when, from the good Dominican sisters when I was in school as a, as a little boy. And I told one of my friends, this is this is like a free ticket to heaven. And it is. It's not that hard. And Our Lady will bless us. Sister Lucia always said how much she loved looking for, forward to the first sad days of every month. It's like a holiday, a feast day. It's Our Lady's day. And we give Our Lady the five first Saturdays. And she gives us all the graces that we need for our eternal salvation. So this is a most important teaching, my dear friends. The first Saturdays, a teaching by Our Lady, a catechesis for all of us, a wake-up call, 
a last chance, as it were, or in a way, a guarantee, a guarantee for eternal salvation. Just do the five first Saturdays. And I'll also tell you something. I guarantee that once you start doing the five first Saturdays, you just don't do five. You do them every first Saturday because you want to please Our Lady. And of course, you can always ask Our Lady when you do those extra ones to apply them to some of your loved ones. In my opinion, I think Our Lady will certainly accept it. These five first Saturdays are for my brother, for my sister, for my son, my daughter, and so on. This is the way, my friends, to help us to get to heaven. Our Lady said, if men do what I say, many souls will be saved. She told us to pray and sacrifice for souls. And she told us to do the five first Saturdays for our own eternal salvation and the salvation of other souls. So today's a, a most important teaching on the five first Saturdays. In a way, one of the secrets of Fatima. May the Lord bless you.